Hello there. As many of you know, uh, on a birthday trip to Barnes & Noble, I actually picked up the DVD that you see there. Uh, Doctor Who the Aztecs uh, Special Edition. Let me bring that up a little closer so you can see it. See the Special Edition? There's um, William Hartnell in the center and uh, I think it's a really nice cover. The original cover uh, looks very pasted but these are two DVDs. They're the exact same content. Now you might be wondering why did I buy the special edition if I already had the first one here? Well um, a lot of that has to do with the fact that this first one was published in 2005. The second one was published this year and this special edition includes specially enhanced picture and audio quality. The audio quality is excellent compared to that one. That's all I can tell you. The visual quality is somewhat similar, maintains the look of old BBC black and white televised broadcasts of the early 60s. Anyhow, uh, let's examine the similarities and the difference between the two DVDs. Uh, first of all, here's the 2005 edition. Right away you can see on the top. Um, let me get a little closer there. Right up here. The old BBC logo. On the spine, right here, you can see a color, colorized representation of William Hartnell as the doctor. And on the back, you can see there are some uh, different pictures, again in kind of an orangish tone on the back, actually black and white stills uh, from this story. Uh, right in the center is uh, Carol Ann Ford as Susan. She's having a birthday in a few days, by the way. So, happy early birthday, Carol Ann Ford. And uh, inside, when you open it up, actually, this, this when I got it used, it had the original uh, BBC video uh, mail-in card and here's the DVD it has William Hartnell's face and this kind of swirly background it's in pretty good shape and look on the bottom get a little closer there Warner Brothers logo uh, they actually distributed uh, Doctor Who DVDs in America I suppose during that time now let's look at the new special edition for further comparison as you can see, the coloration is a little similar. Uh, the bottom part, as you'll first know compared to the other one, see? This is more of a kind of a sandy red, while the other one's more of a sandy orange. Now on the spine, you'll notice right here it has the uh, new BBC logo, right there. And uh, the more black and white, bluish portrait of William Hartnell's face. And down here, two disc you won't find that on the other one. And the BBC logo here is in the upper uh, left hand corner. It's the new purple logo. See it no longer says BBC video on it. And you turn it around it has black and white stills from the Aztecs on the back of it instead. And a somewhat different description which I'll get into a little bit later. Uh, the back of this DVD, now the first disc basically contains all of the uh, uh, bonus features, uh, which would be commentary by William Russell, who played Ian Chesterton in the story, and Carol Ann Ford as Susan, and producer Verity Lambert, who is also featured on uh, Remembering the Aztecs and Designing the Aztecs is another bonus feature on this. Cortez and Montezuma, it's a uh, Blue Peter. That's from the that's the originals. Restoring the Aztecs. Those are all bonus features on the DVD right there. They're from the same one. Anyway, this one also has uh, another series of DVDs which I've also seen. Um, the one of the reasons why I got a special edition using photography and stills and the final third episode. Well, not final third episode, but the third episode of the serial itself. The Lost Story Galaxy 4 has been restored to an hour-long presentation. It's not the complete show, but it, it's uh, certainly nice to see 
at least a good part of it in some way. I haven't gotten into that yet, but that's a whole other story. Um, a show called Chronicles is featured on here, The Realms of Gold, with uh, Julius Norwich. It's a 1969 program about Cortez, Montezuma, and the conquest of the Aztecs uh, in the 16th century. Um, there's Doctor Forever, the Celestial Toy Room, really fun documentary on um, toys, Doctor Who toys over the years. It's a Square World is the very first Doctor Who parody, good impersonation of William Hartnell, and um, small makings of of the um, Peter Cushing Daleks Invasion of Earth 2150 AD, and uh, an Arabic soundtrack. Uh, now let's compare the dialogue on the back here from the original. Here's how the original DVD describes the Aztecs. In the earliest surviving of Doctor Who's historical adventures, the TARDIS materializes in an ancient Aztec tomb. The Doctor and companions Ian, Barbara, and Susan find much to admire in the Aztec civilization. However, Barbara has been mistaken for the reincarnation of the Aztec high priest, Yatexa. The time travelers soon find themselves caught up in a vicious power struggle that could cost them their lives, especially if Barbara continues to wield her influence in an effort to divert the course of history. On the other hand, this particular DVD reads, the TARDIS materializes inside an Aztec tomb. Outside it, the Doctor and his companions soon discover that Mexico in the 15th century is a bloodthirsty and dangerous place. And with Barbara mistaken for a reincarnation of an ancient Aztec high priest called Yatexa, the history teacher thinks that she can put an end to the barbaric human sacrifices once and for all. But can she rewrite history without disastrous consequences? Now, um, you'll notice a bit of a difference in the way the two exact same stories are described in 2005. This came out the year that Doctor Who was officially relaunched on the BBC with Christopher Eccleston as the ninth Doctor, by the way, and this, uh, the show is now in its seventh season with uh, Matt Smith in the uh, title role. And uh, this describes the cast of the show finding much to admire in the Aztec culture, while this describes the Aztec culture from their eyes as a bloodthirsty place. Now, I find it interesting that in the nine years or so since this DVD originally came out, there has been this interesting perception of foreigners as troublesome and bloodthirsty, and the word admiration was not used. I mean, I could be reading too much into the political climate in which these two DVDs came out, but those are just the main differences that I see. Now, you may see other differences in these two, but it's a great story. If you can find this DVD, this is still worth having if you can find it cheaply and you can't afford the special edition. Uh, I'm going to give this away, uh, maybe to family. My family haven't really gotten into Doctor Who a whole lot yet, but I don't want to sell it. I mean, I like it, but I want it to be in the hands of somebody I trust in case it becomes a collector's item for various reasons. But this is a great story, actually worth buying twice, and in my case, to see the restoration of Galaxy 4. We'll get into that a little bit later, but that's just my comparison of the DVDs, which both contain a great story. I love it.